Hello guys, it's Jordan from Jordan Orchid Review. Today we'll be talking about a gem, a black horse in the IEM market. So it is literally in black and it was briefly talked about in HPB video saying that this is one of his top 5 IEM in this short period of time. So it is the Night Oblivion Butasto. Wow, the name. Can you imagine that? Come on man, you can do better in naming. So, uh, not sure is it a place or is it something okay this putas store so it is a 10 ba iron and i love it very very much for you guys uh short conclusion if you are a j-pop lover scg lover that you like female vocal k-pop lovers you will love this a lot okay let me talk about it uh shortly in the sound impression let's talk about the build quality the build quality on this it's nothing very fanciful, it's in black and don't have a lot of uh, fancy faceplate going on, not colorful, not very attractive to say. But the important thing is that this is a 10 BA IM and the size of the IM is so small, okay? It's uber small, very, very small because usually the one of the smallest um, shell that I have for multi BA IM is maybe something like Dunu SA6. That was a very, very comfortable IEM to wear and it's very small, okay, it's very packed going inside. So this IEM is even smaller, it's really, really small, so it consists of 10 BA. Wonder how they do the arrangement, I think this must have been a very great challenge to them. So 10 BA, not just 10 BA, they have tuning switches as well, you have like two tuning switches, so you have four possible tuning if you wanted to try so and the two pin is not using the qdc kind of two pin so it's inside as well so it's very cramped inside and i just surprised that they're able to do it okay so the size of the im is small okay medium to medium small and it's quite comfortable to wear it don't have the semi custom kind of shape that i would have preferred like the um, dunu sa6 which is i would rank it the best the most comfortable set to wear but uh it's no complaint okay because it's being that this is so small and next thing is that the cable that they provided is in black it's a copper cable but the looks of it is so cool looking okay because we don't get a lot of black color cable out there most of the time we get something like spc cable which is in silver but not this black okay this black is just so nice okay can't really find uh, in a lot of places and it's interchangeable you have come with 3.5 and 2.5 millimeter connector so well it's a good cable and the texture on the cable just remind me a lot of my one of my favorite cable the queen of audio RAM cable, it's a SPC cable, it's soft and it's not that kind of easily tangled kind of cable and also it's not too rubbery so it's a very nice cable I would say I just I need to give the praise to them on the cable just fantastic job okay and let's go to the sound sound wise I would say tuning wise is technical it's forward okay this is the two words that I would describe it in short because it is 10 BA of course 10 BA what do you expect it must be technical yeah it is technical and also it is forward forward as in it will give you everything that you have hoped for okay if you are a person like me you like your vocal to be forward okay you like everything to like just give it all shove it all to your face kind of vocal then this is the IM that you are looking for. So, but before that, let's have a look at the graph. Okay, the frequency graph that I have measured. I will just put it somewhere around here. You can see that the pin again is not a lot. Okay, at first, by listening to it, I thought the pin again going to be like a hue. Okay, a very big uh, hue kind of shape like uh, your usual moon drop IM does, but it does not. Okay, it is a QDC kind of graph okay so overall looking at it is quite balanced okay it's quite balanced this is in stock mode okay stock mode means that i never play around with the, the uh, tuning switches okay so this in stock so stock wise is balanced okay and it's a qdc kind of 
uh, graph okay looking like uh, your SA6 okay or like your SA6 mark 2 okay. IM is just uh, I would say surprised me a lot okay I just really thought that it would just give me a very uh, harsh or very shouty experience but no it's just forward okay imagine that SA6 kind of signature but it's a bit more forward okay because SA6 from Dunu is a little bit I would say neutral so this is a little bit more forward okay with alongside with a little bit of that I would so-called sweetness okay uh, words that I would describe the AU Audio Neon Pro which I liked last time so this I am let's talk about uh, some other aspect for example the bass bass in the stock mode is enough sufficient is there okay is there it's not lacking in any way like the SA6 did SA6 is a bit lacking and the bass is not really impactful so these don't have that issue in the stock mode okay but what I really like okay is the bass switch most of the time I understand that most of you don't like bass switches like me I don't like any bass switch that I ever encountered before so I came across like the QDC Anoli VX the bass switch is a disaster don't play with that okay the button should be thick okay so uh, other than that we have like uh, Canon 2 also have bass switches and a lot of others cheaper set that with switches for you to play around with the bass most of them actually all of them are not very good either the bass will be a little bit too much or it will be artificial but not on this set okay so for so long now i have come across so many dozens dozens of uh, iam with switches this is the first time that i turn on the bass switch because it's so nice okay it's so i would say um rumbly pun uh, good punches and it doesn't increase the bass by a lot okay just from the graph you can see that it's roughly around like 3 to 4 db it's not a lot it's not like overwhelming kind of bass or the bass that would totally change the tonality of the IM. okay because some of them really really did see that if you turn on a bass switch the IM will become very muddy or very warm this don't do that it just gives you the extra punch that you have wished for so this is the preferred setting that I, have, I would want on this IM is uh, the switch for bass is on and the other switch the treble is off okay so before the treble let's talk about the upper mid-range like I did just now it's a QDC kind and it retained a lot of detail okay a lot of micro nuances the detail retrieval on this set the technicalities on it is I can't say that it's on par with the QDC Anoli VX but I would say that it's around 70 to 80 percent of it okay because that set with that amount of technicalities and uh, detailed retrieval it may come across dry okay or you so call not musical hence that's why I, I sell it okay because it's just don't come to me very enjoyable to listen to for long time listening so this is this uh, technicality on the Bustato is not as good as the VX but at the same time that it I just felt that it's enough okay you are listening to music you are enjoying your song so I think that technicalities on this is very good okay not that level it's, but it's very very good that is enough for you to enjoy your music okay unless you are some doctor or something that you audio doctor that you want to pinpoint every single thought of recording that then maybe the VX is uh, is a very good set for you but for pure musical enjoyment I think that this Bustato is already at the top of the line kind of technicalities in terms of detail retrieval mm -hmm. is a very good place so and the treble that there, there is a treble switches on the IEM as well but I don't really recommend it because if you turn it on it will add up quite a lot of spiciness to the IM which sometimes some people may be able to take it but not for me okay I can take um, very so, not so-called shouty IM I can take things like the uh, moon drop IM or like the Starfield 2 that kind of signature which is the shoutiness mostly coming from the upper mid-range 
uh, from the vocal but treble alone is not okay that one is quite fatiguing so adding the turning on the treble switches on this Pustato is just a little bit too much okay uh, it does help with the technicalities a little bit more okay give you a tad more detail that you ever wanted if you really wanted it so but I just felt that it's unnecessary because uh, I just love to listen music for like two hours or one hour without any fatigue uh, I mean tiring okay exhaustion like the ringing from the ears after taking down the IM so overall this IM is forward sounding like I said have good bass instruments everything come across very clean and you will be able to pinpoint each and every one of them okay this is at 10 30 that one is at 1 30 uh, location direction so yeah it's good this IM is good let's do some comparison so that you will roughly gauge um, how do this IEM perform so uh, I have the C audio Neo so uh, fun fact is that I sold the Anoli VX and I bought the Neo and I saved up a lot of money and I also got them promo for this uh, the C audio Neo it's a 10 BA IEM as well so in terms of fitting that one fit better because that one is a uh, semi custom shape and that said it's a bit warmer yeah much more warmer than this this i would just felt that it's a little bit neutral side not that it's warm or cold but the neo is a bit warmer much warmer actually so it's warmer but uh, it's not as bassy as the Pustato. but the bass on the neo is something that i like very much which is they have a lot of detail in their beer base okay it doesn't give you the the rumble the punches like this Bustato did but it just have it holds a lot of detail in the bass region so yeah I like it very much like I can hear clearly like how exactly the, the kick drum uh, how they actually hit it as if I can see it visually it myself so the the bass quantity is not as good as the Bustato but the quality is there okay so after that the mid-range everything I would just say that is on par that said as well is also focusing on vocal that is C audio are famous for marketing their Japanese uh, audiences okay to Japanese market so they are built for J-pop hence uh, I like it quite a lot okay for J-pop both set uh, it's still not as forward as the Bustato okay but it's there okay it's there and then the technicalities is where the Neo cannot compete at all with the Bustato the technicalities on the neon just that um, because it's, I would say that it's quite dark yeah a little bit dark okay the travel area side uh, technicalities and uh, detail retrieval is not the most uh, resolving I am I would just say that it's just average but technical technicalities on the Bustato is yeah so comparison if you like something warmer than the neon neo is something for you to go for and also price forgot to mention about the price um, the Pustato can be gotten from Pinon and uh, Pinon are selling around like $600 if you use a promo code you can get around like 500 plus US dollar yeah so only 500 plus and the Neo Pro if you have promotion is selling around like 800 plus or 900 so it's quite a big difference in price but actually the Pustato is still good I mean it can challenge the Neo uh, C Audio Neo in a lot of ways so let's talk about the next set around uh, 10 BAs I don't have a lot of 10 BAs except the VX VX like I said not a very fair comparison that one is four times the price of this Pustato and a short uh, comparison is that that one is way more technical but that one is a bit dry sounding the shell is a little bit too big okay so and have that pressure build up issue so but some people still like the VX for some reason they like to listen to everything then uh, that one is the VX next we have maybe the Supernova from 7 Acoustic it's an IEM that just came out this year uh, was talked about in HPB video and all a lot of other reviews as well I myself also did a review of the 7Hz uh, Supernova it's a good 
I am. Uh, forgot it was, is it six or seven BA? So it was, I would say, neutral set. For me, it's neutral. But for some of the people, they don't think that it's neutral. But for me, it's quite neutral. Okay, it's quite neutral. A tad boring, but it has everything that you ever asked for. Okay, it's vocal, it's not forward, but it has quite decent uh, technicalities, uh, maybe on par with this, or even slightly a bit better than this. The way that the handle travel on the Supernova, just mm, on point. The way that the handle the travel on the Pustato, especially with the switches on, is a little bit overwhelming. Mm. So I would say, uh, comparison wise, if you like something a little bit more fun, turn on the base switch on the Pustato, then it's more fun. Something more neutral side, I would go with the Supernova. And Supernova have a very long waiting time because of uh, their AHIM mate, their IEM, and uh, there are a lot of orders coming in, I guess. So next, maybe like the RSV, which I just gotten a try recently. I just tried it for a lot of times, okay? Uh, RSV uh, was one of the trio IEM. Last time we have the Oracle SA6 and RSV, three of them are the best in their price category, in that price. RSV just have five BA and it's much more expensive than the Bustato. Five BA versus 10 BA. And the technicalities on the RSV, I, for me, it's not as good as the Bustato as well. Everything on the RSV, I would say if you want to compare, if you, if you want to separate it out and just do comparison, I just think that the Bustato is better. Okay, but when you talk about an IEM as a whole, okay, like everything checked together and talk about it, I think that the RSV still uh, excel in tuning. The tonality on the RSV is just impeccable, okay? It's just our long time reference IEM because it's the way that they tune it, okay? The bass, the mids, the treble, upper mid range, everything as one whole package is just nice okay just nice because if you look at it if uh everything on the r suite if you talk about the base maybe it's base is quite good okay base maybe we get it, give it an eight means we give it like seven everything we give it seven but when everything comes together okay it's no longer discovering anymore everything will just add up another notch maybe it become like nine eight 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 eight, eight or something so it just become a bit better because the tonality as a whole from the RSV is just better. So it depends, okay? It depends. If you like something that is more fun, okay? You like some good bass, forward vocal, Bustato is the one to go for. If you want everything as a whole, as a better IEM, okay? As a whole, you the RSV is better. Okay, RSV is better. It's just that tonality, the timbo on the RSV as well. One of the biggest selling point. It doesn't sound to me like a very artificial BA, Kind of onion. It even the bass on the RSV is just uh, so addictive to listen to. Okay, it doesn't felt to me that it is a BA bass. So uh, that's all for the comparison. So end of the story. Bustato is it worth it for the price? Yes, it is. Looking at what they are comparing to, and a lot of 10 BA uh, IEM out there are selling in very crazy price, kilo bucks or near a kilo bucks. This is only half the price. Okay, almost half the price. 500 plus with the promo code. So um, that's all for the video today. We have much more coming on, a lot of backlogs. So much more coming on soon. Uh, hope you guys like this video. So subscribe and like my thousand uh, subscribers coming in. So see you guys next time. Bye-bye.